welcome to Learning BricsCAD. In this lesson we're going to be discussing layouts and viewports. So before you begin to print your designs, we need to spend a little bit of time working on setting up your layouts for printing. So activating layout 1, first thing that I'm going to do is rename the layout. We'll call this first floor plan. And then we'll execute the insert command and select the title block B and making sure that the specify on screen options are all unchecked and we'll enter 3 8 for the X and Y value for the insertion point. That's going to place the title block 3 8 of an inch to the left and up from the lower left corner. Next we're being asked to provide or answer the attribute prompts. So in this case the scale is 1 16th of an inch equals 1 foot. Press enter. The sheet number is going to be 1 and the sheet name first floor plan. Now those values are, are populated into the title block attributes. The next thing that we're going to do is go to the view menu and choose view paper space or paper space views and we're going to create a single viewport using entity snaps to select the corners of our title block and then you'll notice that the view is created if we select the viewport and look at the properties palette we can see that it currently has a standard scale of custom and the custom scale value so changing that to be a specific value of 1 16th equals a foot changes the view magnification and now this particular view is set to that scale placing the view in the center of the viewport Okay, clicking outside of that, let's select the viewport. And what we're going to do here is lock the viewport so that we can't inadvertently change its scale. So by selecting Display Locked Yes in the Properties palette, that locks the viewport. And when I activate that viewport, you'll notice that as I zoom in or out, it's zooming or panning the entire paper space environment as opposed to the um, viewport or model space environment. So it's a good idea to lock your uh, viewports after you've set the scale. Okay, switching over to the unit plan layout, the next thing that we need to do here is actually modify an existing viewport. So simply selecting the viewport and then selecting the top left grip we can drag the viewport boundary upwards and then select the right side grip and bring the viewport in to the left a bit double click inside the viewport to activate it and then we'll adjust the view using standard pan and zoom commands and then clicking outside of the viewport and selecting it we'll set the standard scale to 1 8 of an inch equals a foot okay the next thing that we're going to do is draw a circle and we're going to convert this circle to a viewport so creating a circle with approximately two and a half inch radius then again selecting the view paper space viewports or paper space views and selecting object on the prompt menu selecting the circle converts that circle to a viewport
then we'll select both viewports and let's change their layer to be the viewports layer you'll notice the objects turn black so now the viewport boundaries or the viewport objects or placed on the viewports layer. Double clicking inside the circular viewport we're going to zoom in to the stair center it in the view and you'll notice that the grid lines are still showing in this view so let's first change the scale for this to one quarter inch equals a foot and then clicking inside the view we will turn off the grid lines for this particular view or freeze them rather so we'll scroll down and find the grid S grid layer and we'll select the option to freeze it in the current viewport so that freezes the grid lines in that viewport only you'll notice that they're still visible in the other viewport and then the next thing we'll do is we'll turn off the viewports layer and that basically causes the viewport boundary objects themselves to disappear. The viewports are still active and functional, but the boundaries are no longer visible. This completes our lesson on layouts and viewports.